after hosting 10 lions in our camp in the previous episode, in this episode we drive some wilderness trails, camp far off the beaten track and see lots of game. We unknowingly drive past two male lions and our friends have to call us back to see them. The Mosamani campsite looks out over a dry pan. It really is an amazing experience to camp unfenced more than 90 kilometers from the nearest humans. On the wilderness trails, only one group is allowed in a campsite at a time, so you're guaranteed to have it all to yourself. On closer examination, we realize that there is no water and that they are merely mining for minerals. Somani and Nosop, we encounter lots of game along the track. On this band we saw Springbok, Gimsbok, Red Hartebeest and Ostriches. Because of grass collecting around the exhaust systems which can cause a fire, we had to stop every 15 to 20 kilometers to clear away the grass and seeds. Some other travelers did experience vehicle trouble in the Khalafari. The next morning, back on the main road north of Nosob, we end up in a lion jam, the biggest traffic jam I've yet encountered in the Halakhadi. This lioness has an eye for a ford. Wildebeest are in the Nosop riverbed. The sun sets over Pulenswa Pan. The next morning we do a quick game drive before starting on the Pulenswa Trail. Red hartebeest can give dressage horses a run for their money. Just look at the paces on this one. We see a cheetah lurking in the grass. The Pulenswa trail is not used a lot and the grass is long. 
just look at those grass seeds flying over our roof. This leads to problems. We arrive at this Satswe Pan campsite and are amazed to see water in the pan. The Sesatswe campsite is beautiful and shady. The next morning we take a drive around the pan. Creepers, which looks like military camouflage nets, cover whole trees and it seems as if the trees end up dying. In some places, the trail is not very clear. This day of the Pulenswa Trail, you definitely run the risk that your car will get scratched. At our campsite at Lang Rambuka, we see this magnificent Elan bull one of the few which did not run away immediately. This is my wife and I doing our impression of YouTubers. But we cannot be real YouTubers as we've not even shown you how we brew coffee yet. More hard to be as showing the dressage paces. Almost back to the Nosop Valley. In the next episode, we stay at Grootkoek and Urika Ries, see Serengeti like numbers of game, and get serenaded to sleep by roaring lions. Oh.